Hey y'all, it's Brian, the Rambling Tech, and we're gonna go through with our next video in the Virtual Box series, which is setting up Active Directory on Windows Server 2022. So if you haven't seen the previous video where I installed Server 2022, click up here and you'll be able to find that. In this video, we are gonna set up Active Directory, and the reason we wanna set up Active Directory on Server 2022 is this is what you're gonna see in the normal enterprise environment or even in a small network, you're gonna see this. And it's a good thing to know, especially when you're getting started out in IT, is how to set up Active Directory, create some users, and be able to share resources on that domain with, within your client's environment or even within your home lab environment. So let's get into VirtualBox and I'll see you over there. All right, so now that we've made it to VirtualBox, there is some things that we need to go ahead and set up real quick in the beginning to sort of make things a little bit easier down the road when we set up some other VMs. So first thing that I want to do is I want to make a NAT network. The reason I want to make a NAT network is I want my other VMs that I'm going to create to be able to communicate with this Windows server. So to do that, we're going to come up here, we're going to click File, we're going to go to Tools, we're going to go to Network Manager, we're going to create. It'll automatically create it and you just are good to go. Now we need to come over and click back on where our Windows Server is. We're going to go to settings and where it says net, we're going to come down here to network and we're going to go NAT network and we're going to select that NAT network. Click OK. Now we can go ahead and power on our VM. To power it on, you're just going to double click. You'll see over here it says power, powering up VM. This will take a few minutes, so I will go ahead and fast forward to this and see you when it gets done. All right, y'all, so our VM has launched and we are ready to go. If you have this little box over here, you can just click the X and then it will say insert control alt delete. Go ahead and go to input keyboard, insert control alt delete. Once you get done, you're going to set, use that password that you set up in the previous video. And we're going to log in. Now, when you first come in, it is going to ask you if you want to make this network a private network. We're going to go ahead and click yes because we trust this network. Okay, this box will pop up and it most of the time pops up every single time. I'll just click do not show again and click exit. Now you see that you are on the server manager dashboard and it is just that, it is a dashboard that keeps track of all of the features and add-ons that you've got installed on your server. So we are gonna stay in here and we're gonna install Active Directory. To do that, we're just gonna come up here and go to manage, add roles and features. We're gonna click next and we're gonna add a role-based feature installation. We're gonna click next by default, it is going to select this server. If you had multiple servers in this network, it might show up all of them because you could add install it on one of the remote servers. But we're going to go ahead and click next. And we are going to select Active Directory Domain Service. And we're going to add all of these features. So hit add features. Also, we're going to set up DNS. Now, it is going to tell me that to set up DNS, we do need to set up a static IP address. To do that real quick, we're just gonna come down here and we're gonna do CMD, because we wanna find out what IP is. So we're gonna do IP config, click enter, and our network, our IP address is 10.0.2.15. So we're gonna click, come right here, we're gonna go open network settings, change adapter options, click on this, properties and we're going to select IPv4. We use an static and we're just going to put that default IP address in. And it is a two that is a class C network. So it's going to be 255.255.255.0 and our Gateway 
is 10.0.2.1. We're just gonna leave obtain DNS or use this. And we're gonna click OK. We're gonna exit out of all of this and we're gonna say continue. Click next, 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 next. So install. It does take a few minutes. Once you get configuration required, you can go ahead and close out of here. And you will see up here at the top, it does have a yellow dot or a yellow triangle. So right now we're going to click on that yellow triangle and it says we need to promote our server to a domain controller. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. So right here, you do have three options add a domain controller to an existing domain that is if you've already got a domain set up add a new domain to an existing forest so that would be a domain and you want to make a subdomain of that domain a little bit going up past the scope of this but what we're going to select is this add new forest so i'm going to create me a new domain and i'm going to call it rt or i'm going to call it RT Home Lab. Dot local. And for Microsoft, they do want you to use a fully qualified domain, but we're just going to use dot local. It will still, everything will still work great for this. And we're going to click next. We're going to leave everything as Windows Server 2016. But the reason you would come here and change this is if you are an exist, in a, an existing network that might have some older devices that it needs to communicate with. But this is our only domain controller in this network, so we are going to set that up. We're going to set a password right here. This is for restore mode. And we're going to click next. We're going to click next. And right here, so what it's saying is this is everything before your slash. So when we create a user, they'll log in and this is your network. You can actually shorten this so they don't have to type this whole thing out. But I'm just going to leave it at RT Home Labs and click next. We're going to leave all this as default. And we're going to do next. Let it think for a second. And we're going to select install. All right, y'all. So it is going to reboot <clears throat> at this point. So you can go ahead and click close. All right, y'all, so now, now that that has rebooted, let's go ahead and log in. So we're going to do that input, keyboard, insert, control, alt, delete. And you will notice something a little bit different. I spelled home lab wrong. But anyways, you will notice that it has RTHI home lab slash administrator. But it's going to be that same administrator password that you had originally. So we're going to put that in and log in. Server manager is going to come up and you will see that we have ADDS and it is green. Now it is set up. So you could add computers to this or add other computers to this and your administrator could log into those other computers and share resources. But the first thing we need to do is we need to hire some people so they can work on our network, be an administrator or just be a normal domain user. So we're going to click right here and we're going to go to tools and active directory users and computers. This is going to pop up into the active directory MMC. You're going to click right down here where it says your domain. 
And if you look right here, you've already, if you go to users, you've already got some pre-built users in here. You've got an administrator and some pre-built groups already in here. Administrator, that is the administrator account that you've been using. If you want to change the password for this administrator, you can go reset password. If you want to disable this account, you can disable this account, but before you do that, we need to create a new user. So to create a new user, you're just gonna come into the white and you're gonna click new. Drop down here where it says user. And I'm gonna create the first user, which it is gonna be me, the administrator. I'm gonna do Brian. RT. Login will be Brian RT. We're going to click next. I'm going to set a password. And by default, you do want a new user that you create to have to change the password the first time they log in. But I'm going to leave mine the same, so I'm going to unselect this for myself. We're going to click Next and Finish. Now, by default, I am only a domain user. So I do not really have very many administrator privileges, or I might not even be able to install some applications on this device or manage the Active Directory. But I want to make myself a administrator or a domain admin. To do that, we're just going to right click, we're going to right click on it, and we're going to come here to go to properties and select members, add dom or add. We're going to say domain space admin and enter. Now I am a domain admin. We're going to click apply and OK. The next thing we want to do is we do want to just really quick create another user on our thing. So we're going to do that same thing and we're going to say new users and we're going to hire Luke Skywalker. And we're going to do L Sky or Luke. Okay. I'm going to set a password for him and I'm just going to do password for I'm going to do and if you wanted to this password never expire I'm not going to set to change the password and finish now, he is just a domain user, but now that we've got a user set up, let's go ahead and try to log in. So I'm going to log out, and the best way to log out of any server, if you're, if you're, if you're on a server or really any computer that you're ever remoted into or anything like that, is just to type log off. You open up CMD and type, up, type in log off. So now that we've got, we're back on our home page. Let's go ahead and insert that Control Alt Delete. And I want to change my user, so I'm going to put in Brian RT, and then that password. Okay, so now that I'm logged in with my administrator account, you can see right here, I could come up and go to Active Directory Users and Computers, click on RT Home Lab, and then go to Users. I can create a user myself. So let's hire, hire Obi-Wan. OK, 
Kan jeg spørge jer? Nu vi en kage. We're gonna set a password for him. And so like that, and next, and finish. Okay, so I'm gonna just show you a little bit of the difference when we use a normal domain user and what they are not able to do. So I'm gonna log out one more time. And you can do that by clicking sign out. I do like using the log off. We're gonna insert the control alt delete again. Now we're gonna to try to log in to our server as Luke and we're gonna do Luke SK. Put that password in. And as you can see, they are not able to log into this server. Because they are not a domain admin, they do not need to be on a domain server. So we're gonna click OK. And y'all, if you like videos like this, please like and subscribe. Comment below with what you'd like to see next in VirtualBox or anything like that. And if you want to check out some more videos from me, just click in the links up here. I am going to continue this series on the next video or on the next person in this series. I'm going to create a Windows 11 VM so that way we can join that computer to our domain and have our users go ahead and log in. And I'll show you how to do some installs and stuff like that there. And I'll see you in the next one.